Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a love reading for mid-April. Um, I hope that all of you are safe and healthy. Thank you to all who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Alright, so off camera, the message that I got for you, Aquarius, is holding back, obsessed serious relationship and this is your gift okay all right so hopefully that'll resonate with the reading okay so let's get into it um i'm gonna pull three cards for you aquarius how you feel about this love relationship and then three cards for your partner okay three cards for aquarius how do they feel about this love relationship And three cards for your partner. Okay, that flipped out. <laughs> okay, so Aquarius, you have the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups, wow. And the Eight of Pentacles, wow. So you feel like this could be new love or renewed love. For some of you, it's going to be new love. For some of you, it's going to be renewed relationship with someone you already have a, a past with. Um, <clears throat> you feel like this is a successful connection, a successful relationship. Um, it's mutually beneficial. It's um, equal. It's love. Um, you feel like it's love and friendship. You also feel like you can be yourself with this person. You feel like you could have a really dynamic merger. You also feel like uh, sex and intimacy It um, is definitely uh, highlighted here. And um, you guys work together I don't, in the bed, outside of it. I don't know, but... You definitely feel like this is something you could merge or someone you can merge your life with. Like, this would be a successful merger. Um, you're trying to get yourself in order, maybe financially, um, so that you can merge your life with this person or vice versa. Or it could be the both of you trying to do that. You could be trying to learn something, be better get a better job, something of that nature. Um, you also feel like this person teaches you things. You feel like you guys are on the same, same wavelength in regards to, you know, mentally. Like, um, you can have those inquisitive conversations with this person you can talk to them like i said it's a friendship also um they they enlighten you you enlighten them you can learn from them you can, you may be the younger person or vice versa I don't know. um so your person feels like the two of fire the empress and the five of earth um, so your person may be making decisions, trying to determine, once again, something about money or habits or what they do every day. Um, they may be trying to go in a different direction in regards to how they earn money, earned income. Um, maybe putting themselves in a, trying to go in a new direction here. Start something new with you a relationship a business but they they feel a sense of uncertainty they feel like they're at a crossword cross road because maybe money income isn't flowing as uh abundant 
uh, abundantly as they would like but they this is how they feel about you about the relationship it's very fruitful like they can build with you they feel like you're the empress maybe you you bring a lot to this relationship but they feel a, a level of uncertainty a lack of confidence and maybe even getting married or coming together uh, um, they feel like there's been some setback they want a fruitful and blessed home and business but they feel a level of uncertainty maybe with their money their job or business or something that they do let's clarify what's going on here okay okay so these this deck is reversed the tower the ten of cups for Aquarius so you're feeling like somebody's coming back or someone something is disrupting so something is ha is taking some historical measure here like this has happened before and so the universe is breaking that maybe that ivory tower that tower you built around yourself Aquarius bringing it down and make you know making you see that material and emotional needs can be met with this person you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio Scorpio highlighted Capricorn Virgo Taurus Um, the fool in reverse. I feel like it should be upright. Some of you just want to take the leap of faith here, but you're not seeing something. It's almost like you have on the rose colored glasses. Five of Pentacles and the alien. Okay, so you guys. you um you need to see this like you maybe this person doesn't have a lot of money you need to really determine if you can deal with that or they may be at a place of just trying to rebuild themselves or if they don't have a lack of con if they have a lack of confidence in this moving forward in themselves in the relationship Or if someone doesn't want the same thing as you you need to really rest with that energy you have to you're looking for answers outside of yourself like well maybe they'll change or maybe this will change but it says the answers are, are within you you know that you're gonna have to accept someone for how they are It could also be somebody coming back from the past who feels left out. Someone that you are separated from. You want to know why they're coming back. They they still love you. You might be over it. Let's see what's going on with your partner. With the two of five. Okay. Way too many. Okay, so they feel like you are a soulmate. They feel like you're very, it's easy, you're easy to talk to. You're very loving. You have a very listening ear. They feel like this relationship is balanced. It brings a lot of balance and equality. They also want you to know that um, business may not be booming for them in regards to money. So they may have to, they're telling you this so you know what their actions are you know that maybe they have to 
It's going to be disappointing. But two of cups on their side also. And they want to... I think this person wants to marry you. But they... Yeah, ace of cups on their side. Ten of wands and the emperor. Okay. Um, this person probably wants to take the relationship to the next level. But they're, they're wanting you to look at the reality of what's going on. They also could be holding back from you. They want you to look at the reality of, of the state of the world right now. Is it best for us to just jump into because this card talks about love affair and business uh, contract or deals is it best for us to further this love affair is it best is it going to be best for us in business in our money um, maybe we need to slow down someone's trying to make the best decision for all parties involved even though they have a very strong likeness love for you um, they also could be thinking long term like what what they want long term with you and right now they want to slow things down um, because eventually they want to marry you yeah they, they see longevity with you they see long term with you but something is stalling them it's like something is not allowing them to move forward let's see what you want to tell your person You want to tell your person, I give you money, that should be enough. I'm sorry, I was an idiot. And you have sexy wife. Okay, so that might be coming from a lot of my male Aquarius. Okay, ooh, cheater flew out. Maybe that's what they were. Let's see if we can get some, because I really feel like that's from my male Aquarius. Let's see if we can get some messages from my female, because rich husband. Okay. So I lied. I'm a narcissist. So I'm, um, I care for you. This is what you want to tell your person. I dream about you. Okay. Let's see. What does this person want to tell you? Missing you. I have to stay with my family. Wait for me. I'm not happy. At the bottom of the deck, it says, I would say I love you, but... I don't know what love is okay so like I said this person they're missing you it could be someone from the past it could be someone you're dealing with currently they're telling you that they have to stay with their family either physically stay with their family or somebody is married or trying to come out of a connection but right now they have to stay with their family they're asking you to wait for them they're not happy okay um, so I hope that clears some things up for you. Um, let's see what the advice is for you, Aquarius. Someone wants a really serious relationship with you. Relationship with you. This is your gift from the universe, uh, but somebody's also holding back because they have obligation, or yeah, they have a lot of obligation within their own life. Okay, what's the advice for Aquarius? It's up to you, not the right time. It's just not the right time. Um, you're starry-eyed and you got the rose-colored glasses on, but somebody else wants you to be realistic. No need to worry. Be assertive, Aquarius. Be assertive. Okay. Within the next few weeks, you have a timeline here for whatever you think is going to happen. It says, don't stop. Success. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, recovery. Pisces also got recovery. Okay, Aquarius. What we're going to do is extend this reading. And we're going to see... Um, how this ends for you. We're going to try to look at the long term and see what this person 
uh, what they have planned, what their real intentions are for you, okay? So if you want to see what this person's intentions are after the fiasco of, you know, world events and life just happening, let's see what they really want to have with you. So meet me over on the other side. The link is down below. Uh, it's uh, a few pennies for you to get a potential outcome for yourself. But if you feel like you want your own reading, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the coupon codes below. Or you can uh, you can uh, email me one question, one answer. You can email your question, receive your answer via email, okay? Thank you, Aquarius. Stay safe. Many blessings to you.